This channel is sponsored by Loot Crate, the monthly subscription box that's always filled with surprises for gamers and geeks alike. If you're interested, go to lootcrate.com slash hawk525, and after choosing your crate, type in promo code hawk525 for a 10% discount. The link and promo code will be in the description box below. Thanks guys, and hope you enjoy the show. So Grand Blue stuff got announced, right? Mm. Yeah. I got excited because you know I, I like Grand Blue despite not playing it. I've I probably mean, said that on the podcast. I'm super excited. Several times I've said I like Grand Blue. I should play that, but I don't. You know, that's <laughs> that's just how it goes. But like, uh, I was like, all right, we we've already went through it where Hawk was like, what a waste. Mm-hmm. Looks at my ser- uh, not servant pool the same. Your inventory. <clears throat> Ah oh, shit. Uh looks at my my inventory of characters and is like what a waste cuz I have to fucking I have good characters. Apparently I have the most broken dark character in the game like Summer Zoe or some shit. I I don't know what it means. Wait. Listen. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Go back two seconds before I murder you for wait. having the one character I want in this entire game. I told you, you so- this, Mitchie. No, I don't remember this <laughs> again. <laughs> I must have been sleeping or something. <laughs> I would remember a discussion being super mad, like Shadow getting every character we want mad. <laughs> and everything. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Don't even talk about me and Shadow and watching Shadow and Hog get all this sh- stuff in Ground Blue recently, and I'm like, I got like one character. Dude, cool. dude the worst part is I can't even use uh, Black Knight because I'm not far enough in the story where I can use it. <laughs> I mean, you can. Use... I can't use her to progress in the story. Oh, hmm. Ten dollars limitation. I'm on the chapter. I actually need to use her on. Hmm. Oh, there's I'm the not button. Completely story. Forgot where the auto button was. All right, well, oh I guess God, we can start you... the episode like this <laughs> <laughs> with classic. I can't believe you got that gotcha. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll whoop your ass. <laughs> yeah. My girlfriend look like my mom. <laughs> I'm just slightly happy in general because I got that one character that Hawk loves that I also love, who's just amazing to look at. Oh yeah, so you get so you did get Silva. All right, all right. <laughs> you mean Quetzalcoatl? Oh no! Well, well no, no. Uh, Grand Blue, Grand Blue stuff. Oh okay. No, I actually posted on that channel. If I post pictures because I'm playing on browser, and I don't feel like you know screen taking shooting a picture of <laughs> screen shooting my screen just in case because I'm. Have y'all noticed shadow I'm screens like... always super fucking dark? dark. It always <laughs> I don't get it. I don't like because my brightness is all the way down, right? But it doesn't affect my screenshot. No, so I'm it like, shouldn't. <laughs> what the? Also, crap? I'm surprised you didn't say anything that Faka somehow got a Rosetta, which is specifically Holiday, which was the. You only know, one I one. I saw. <laughs> That's why I rolled, and I rolled my guaranteed uh, SSR and got a dupe. Felt real bad and blew all my crystals on that banner. Yeah, and I only walked away dudes. with like an Athena and a Black Knight. I got so. some like summon that cucked me like a ssr summon it, it was like, a, mm-hmm. it's like that's it was, what i did too i got twin elements off my ssr ticket i'm like cool thanks game mm-hmm. was it for the 9k <laughs> well, we got distracted. Yeah. yeah and then uh the the character ssr ticket i got was uh the little girl and the wolf <laughs> that Wait, one. there were two ssr tickets uh I think there was only one. Oh, you haven't done the guaranteed Christmas unit one. You gotta do some stupid stuff. What? Uh, did neither one of you have been doing the Christmas thing? Or if you do, Nuh-uh. like, the Christmas Listen, thing with the new I kid? haven't started actually playing this game again since, like, this morning. <laughs> okay, Christmas. Special quest. You have to do Let Them Eat Cake, which is for... Light Christmas fairy and uh, yeah, yeah, meteora. 
And then you do the next one, which you don't even have to do anything. You just skip it, and it gives you a ticket for any holiday character weapon draw. Uh -huh. So you could get screwed. That's how I got that Christmas tree looking. Oh, you don't pick? Older. You don't pick. It's oh, RNG listen, still. I got time. I got time for this. All right. It, it, oh <laughs> Well, anyways, uh, let's just let's just do some quick introductions real quick. So welcome to the, I believe, the 70s. I have been resurrected. <laughs> uh, 76 episode. I Play that clip from that Street Fighter I never played. Oh, I heard a lot of resurrected today when I was playing a certain Mugen game and had to fight oh, God. a certain boss. <laughs> I yeah. heard that resurrected like five times. But we promise you, we won't be like seventy Fallout seventy six. We'll <laughs> do stuff. That's not getting resurrected. <laughs> no, it's not. It definitely isn't not. But um, anyways, uh, uh, first off, we have Ender back into the table. I am no longer sick. I'm no longer busy. I am about to get real busy though. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We caught you in the gap. So uh. You know, thank you, uh, thank yeah. you for returning. For... We, we, it's more I made a gap. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I was like Danielle, we got, I, I got a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for uh, you know taking the time to come back to this episode, at least the seventy six episode. And uh, today in the rotating seat, we have uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we have a friend of ours uh, from uh, our little like private discord i guess you can say and uh he frequents there and uh he goes by the name michi takeda so uh welcome uh michi to uh to the hypecast uh, hi I michi i would have been on a sooner episode involving a certain bad game but no i work all the time so what well, we caught you during off. vacation right yeah, I'm off to like after Christmas so I can yeah. actually get holiday okay for yeah, the yeah, first yeah. time I'm in like not. five years. I'm not. I'm waiting first. <laughs> I gotta got wait for ten mm -hmm. bajillion years. Mm -hmm. Anyways, joke is I would have been on a certain Destiny episode, but on this. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We did talk about Destiny in the past, and uh, that that could have been a good one for you, but it's all right. You're here, and uh. Let's uh, get on with the news and stuff like that. So, uh, first off, let's take get this out of the way. Borderlands 2 VR. What the hell? All right, Mitchie. <laughs> what about this? Oh, my God. I got nothing. I play Borderlands 2. Come on, Love well, the game. you got to have an opinion on it, man. What's I it? mean, it's an interesting choice. I haven't seen anyone play it yet. The one streamer that I expected to play it by now still hasn't played it, so that's surprising. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have a VR. We already know the other streamer that's right now playing 2B would not do that game. Yes. Maybe with enough money. <laughs> money? Isn't that how a lot of things go sometimes on there? I mean, I I'm don't kidding. Know. I didn't even know there was a VR game for uh, Borderlands 2, so I was like super surprised. So that's why I put, in the, put that in there on the first. It's hilarious. Yeah. They're. Uh... I'm like, the fuck? And that's, I mean, like, that's what I wrote on the docket. <laughs> I'm still waiting for Borderlands 3 to be announced. A number so of I us can play are. that. A number of us are. Well, then I'm going to be the only one that's playing Destiny because there's no Borderlands 3. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Anthem, whenever that comes out, right? The Anthem is going to wait a month, and I hope that game doesn't fail so Bioware doesn't die. Smart man. It's my opinion about that. <laughs> You know, there was a point where I was super excited for Bioware games. Yeah. I That's used to like Mass for. Effect 2 and like even Mass Effect 3 to some degree were like and like and Dragon Age Origins in my opinion were like some of the the best, but it's like now. Mm. Yeah, everyone wants back Dragon Age Origins. Aren't they going the back to one? Dragon Age now? Uh, Game Award thing, or like yeah, a, there was there was that announcement for uh, from uh, Game Awards, which yeah, is the, the, the not really an announcement announcement. 
it's like a which some like, people think could be a mobile game, but it's after Inquisition is a <laughs> bit we know. I know. I played Inquisition DLC. I won't lie. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll have to see. I like Morgan, or is it Morgan or Morgan? The the witch, yeah. Flemish adoptive daughter. I like her a lot. Best romance option because the OC makes more fun afterwards. I just made out with her in front of what's his face? It was Alistair, like all the time. Hello, Michi. Oh. (laughs) My button gets stuck. Uh, That's half here. I got much to talk about (laughs) Portland's TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I and I haven't seen anything on it. Like legit, I'm kind of looking at YouTube, and it's like, nope, there's nothing. Mm-hmm. If like anybody I watch on YouTube played it, sure, I'd watch it, see what it's like. Is aiming actually good? Because we don't know with VR games, especially PlayStation One. Mm-hmm. I've seen a lot of PC ones, and they're kind of like wonky how you hold a gun. Lily watch Shroud do one less than two days ago. <laughs> it's like, oh, VR first person's got a long way to go. Yeah. Uh, before we go any further, um, Mitchy, do you have automatic game control on? On uh, Discord? Uh, He's pushed the talk. Yes, I do. Why? Uh, you should turn that off. <laughs> Done. Okay. All right. So uh, that way you don't just cut off randomly, because that's what happened to Keters back uh, a while back. So, <laughs> yeah. Is that why I've been cutting off randomly so much? On yeah, <laughs> I didn't know I saw me that like months ago. <laughs> we 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 solve it. During a podcast. Aren't you glad you came on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Twitter and there's that figure that Hawk just linked someone of less than a day. All right. Well, anyway, uh, now we can move on to something a little more. Borderlands 2 VR. We don't really know or care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No yeah. one has a VR. I just didn't know. Get... So that's why I put, I just put that in the start so I can start some Probably sort of conversation. Did... <laughs> Josh's hot take probably like fuck it. Where's yeah. Borderlands three? He's like, yeah, where's my bad Borderlands three? <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, uh, now we can move on to something a lot more significant, which is uh, good old Two B is now out for Soul Calibur six. And uh, funny enough, Yay. only one of us has. I'm too fucking busy to play. <laughs> <laughs> to be which means too busy for you <laughs> oh yeah pretty much too busy <laughs> but uh, i listened to the heiress uh fucking impressions and that's about it mm-hmm. i've been watching our not gonna say the other name i've been watching max and this character looks super yeah but I wonder if she has a lot of good buttons. Let's just hope her 2B isn't the best button in the game. Oh, that joke. That oh, joke. Yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That joke still exists. <laughs> She's... We brought that joke I'm up a couple times. I'm the one here who's touched her a bit and watched her moves, and I'm like, what What the hell is this character? She got <laughs> like, a kind of a run cancel like stance, right? Yeah, she has her dash, you know, in game when you just start running and then automatically have her start dashing afterwards, the whole glide. Given we dodge through the game 99% of the times because it felt faster Did and better. Did you put Gucci belt on? Dude, or are you talking about just getting around? Just getting around. Dude, just Literally. getting around pre, like, fast travel. I, I don't even know if this was actually fast faster, but I would ground dash, jump instant air dash, Land dash, jump instant air dash, like, Rinse and, and it was just a rhythm, a rhythm that kept me busy while I was getting around, I guess. But I don't know if it's like actually faster. Oh, I should have put the pre-warning. We're probably going to go into a lot of near references because I mean, 
still my game of the year for that year. It's my game of the year for this year. I <laughs> I can't say that. Yeah, you can. And it I fucking came out again. This year, though. Game of Yorha edition or whatever. I mean, my game of the year for fighting games is still going to be BB Tag. Oh, fighting game? Oh, yeah, BB Tag. Yeah, fighting game. Sure. Yeah. Because she's in a fighting game. I mean, I can still say Nier's Anamana's best game, and I wish Nier 1 would get a remaster with better controls, but that's a pipe dream. That's a, that's a square issue. Uh, Yoko Taro yeah. said that. Uh, you'll have to contact Square. It's not so he's smart, <laughs> and people will probably listen to Yoko Taro, even though Kamiya yells at people. Oh, that's a thing that we could have interestingly put on. That's a random. No, where? Well, you know, it's a dry ass. It's it's holidays. Not much is happening, so you could add whatever you want. Because I think I mean, that's pretty much all we can do. Tubi's out. Excited to play her. She seems mashy. Has tools. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? At the end. Oh, Kamiya put up a weird poll that's probably not going to be real because Nintendo already picked their characters. But he was asking people like, which of his characters would you actually like to see in Smash? And it was Dante. Uh, Wonder Red. I think it's gonna be Mami, it's gonna be a Devil May Cry Joe. character to be Nero. Nero or Dante for sure. Well, I think it'd be decided. Nero because he no he's clout. because he's the new. He's in the center of the box. Yeah, it po- he's the poster boy. He's the new hot. The new hotness. The new hotness. Mm. Old and busted. New hotness. <laughs> new hotness. All right, we can go back to this topic later when we start getting bored. We're still on two V technically. Right, yeah. I bring them. But yeah, my opinion of the character. She's weird. She has a fishing stance. She sits on her box and she can fix you, fish you off the ground. Oh my god, is he doing 94k? Off of super fancy. Yeah, this character does a lot of damage. <laughs> also, she's the first character in the game to have an air super. Oh. Oh, you can do it in the air? Cool. Yeah. Wow. And scaling though, I think off the air, but oh well. Right. Her combos are probably the flashiest you'll see in a while. I think like one of her uh what do you call that edge uh, reversal edge? Like one of one of those buttons can like pretty much convert into like a big combo and almost kills. Oh, it can. And spear can too. Punch can, I think. I her, like her rush punch. Most of her buttons can. Oh, yeah. It seems like very mix up heavy because, like, from what I could tell from the little bit I've seen of her, isn't it like uh, you do the, the dash or whatever and you do moves out of the dash in correlation yeah. to, like, I guess, I'm assuming what button you push during it, right? There's A, there's B. You can technically do two different grabs out of it the forward grab and a back grab. They're super cinematic. She has a nice. lot of tools. And you can almost go into everything. Apparently, if her guard meter isn't down, her the worst pod program, in my opinion, in the game turns on like one of her best moves where she throws the pod on the ground and does like the earthquake thing. Shockwave? On the... Shockwave. Yeah, apparently it turns into a lethal hit off of not being technically hit. Like, oh, you throw on the cool. ground, wave, and it's apparently her guard gauge has to be full, is what I heard, Chad. I'm baffled yeah. how many of the pod programs they are actually put into that. Laser. I, I Laser, didn't think Spear would be... Spinning actually... Blades. Spear. Spinning uh, Blades is also out of aggressive, I think. Well, oh, it's Dash. They have the... Uh, 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 oh my god, we're both going to forget. They the have the word. rapid slashes in her, like, cinematic and stuff. <laughs> The, oh uh, no, she dance. can also do rapid slash in general as a move, and oh, also she has she the can. ball rapid slash as a pod program, where she force the area and go everywhere. Does she, does yeah, she that's have missiles? Move. No, oh. but she can charge laser, and if you actually get hit by a charge laser, which you can block it, but if you don't, it's like a hundred damage. And I'm like, wait, what? Hmm. He loses much as a super does from one move. So, but it's a it's a very sidesteppable move, especially if you see her charging it. Like it doesn't yeah. have the telegraph. In a game where you can sidestep yeah. very easily. <laughs> Still a good launcher. Nice. Here's a weird part that Max can't get into while practicing. So the fishing stance has three different moves. It has gunshot. It has uh, 
fishing. I forgot what the last one was. You can do the the spin the Gucci blade. Spin oh yeah, you can do Gucci blade. If you time it, apparently you can do basically the perfect dodge. Off oh, hit. cool. Oh. And you can do several things out of it, but I'm like, that. I don't know how practical that is. It's a pain. Is she see it? And it's called like dancing bomb, but it's legit. Her, she splits into multiple cells and dodges, and I'm like, wait, what? If I see That's that ever happen so at a tournament, a cool. Yep, it's in place technically, but still, you. I don't know how good it is because once again, it's, it's timing. Also, our back throw, if you do baseball swing, has a timing thing where you can make them go farther if you hit the attack button at the right time. Eris retweet. Oh, Eris said she was one of the best looking characters in the game. Makes all the other characters in the game look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're not wrong. She, she copied her look so well. And she translates so well in the Soul Calibur. It's dumbfounding. Yep. Especially if you... Oh, no, he's doing the explosion super. He said that, you know, he's never played near other than, like, an hour or something. But he's like, he can appreciate uh, when a, a fighting game plays homage to something. So. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, she's the only character, obviously, in the game with... Well, no, never mind. Uh, Tira Technist. No, as well too. Never mind. I was gonna say she's the only character with two different uh, supers, but there's a lot of characters actually. Yeah, I but guess hers is more specific to like her health, right? Low yep. health, she'll do a uh, route A S D <laughs> ending. Yeah, route right. A <laughs> ending into the bit from. I, I'll be able to talk more about her when I actually play her and right. get my impressions. Uh, but it's a matter of finding time. So yeah, definitely looking good. That could be part, that could be next podcast or like pod several podcasts from now. <laughs> unfortunately. And unfortunately, the next part of our notes, I got nothing. I don't know. There's no tournament to determine these balance changes because every character just is fundamentally out. changed. I think I think the change that I the one change I the did notes see. Were out. The uh, they showed buff and nerf, which is the best patch notes I've ever seen ever because Nintendo's patch notes are trash, yeah. But I think the biggest change that I, I disagree with was the, the Siegfried, uh, Bro. Flip, <laughs> the pancake, the pancake. yeah. It, it's like, which is fine. well, like, I, I maybe, maybe this is probably the old man in me. I'm like, but that's been there since like the beginning of time. If you don't know how to tech the ground throw, you gotta. Step it up. You think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, step it up. <laughs> Just Frankly, step. the only time I get ringed out is when fucking my friend goes in the chief stance with Siegfried and does like the ankle slice. It's oh, super yeah. slow and reactable, but uh, I don't block it and yeah. <laughs> get fucking ringed out. It's okay. Your Taki might have got slightly buffed from what I've seen. I, I don't play well, Taki anymore, one clip on... Oh, you don't? Uh, yada yada. You'll still try her out, obviously, but you have a new main. We get it. I'm not gonna yeah, go. I was I there. literally I was going through these was like, says. oh man, these are good ass uh these are good ass notes. And then it hit me. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm not gonna draw a nightmare. I don't care. I don't care if two piece in the game, I'll have two characters then finally. And then eventually learn Geralt mildly nerd. That character that's in everything. <laughs> Slowly and surely. Well, uh, she's looking good, I think, graphically and probably move-wise too. But we'll see how uh, how she fares in competition. But we're not—I mean, not that we're, we're uh, none of us are competitive at all when it comes to, especially yeah. with Soul Calibur. So, well, yeah, I, I yeah, mean, I'll be, I'll be watch Sonic Fox do some dirty stuff with her if he plays. Yeah, here we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how uh, how um, optimal she is, I guess. But yeah. Uh, but anyways, it's cool that she made it, so, and like I said, she's looking pretty good, especially, you know, on Twitter, there are, like, some very oh clean God, screenshots of her, of, of her butt. <laughs> it doesn't look as, and, yeah, we forgot the good. most important note, 
The Kayane outfit, which Kaine. I probably won't put. Kayane. Kayane is the player. Offended <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, people already. I'm off to a great start. It's all right. We, it's we, all right. We, it happens. Happens. we get we get stuff wrong all the time. That's what the corrections are for. Yeah. That no one emails us about. Luckily, <laughs> we we've slipped through the cracks. Uh, luckily, so. But anyways, I think we can move on for. Uh... You can you can put that on any female character, right? In... Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, I think it's just an outfit. There's just her. Oh my god, nothing's left to the imagination at that point. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we can definitely move on to. Uh, pretty much like, we have like a little screenshot of what Nintendo has to offer for next year and. Uh, uh, near future in some ways so uh it, it, it tells Where you like this? oh sorry let me uh let's see let me just put the, the... Oh, i can see it because i'm like i don't yeah, know. yeah yeah let me put it in the chat here so all right there you go okay i'll pull that up okay all right so oh fuck i gotta wait for spring <laughs> so yeah it shows it shows us like oh yeah super mario brothers you deluxe is coming january 11th and stuff like that Ooh. um travis strikes i like those, I like those last two <laughs> <laughs> Tra travis strikes again is uh january 18th for for 19 yoshi's crafted world spring 2019 uh damon, damon uh machina oh, i'm excited for that game that yeah. game looks good Damon X Machina, excuse me, for 2019. Fire Emblem Three Houses, Spring 2019. Town, 2019. Uh, Pokemon, uh, Late 2019. Luigi's Mansion 3, 2019. Animal Crossing, 2019. That's uh, that's awesome. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order, 2019. Shin Megami Tensei 5, it says now in development. Uh, Bayonetta 3. I haven't seen anything about that in so long. Yeah. Now in development, also Bayonetta three and uh, Metroid Prime four as well. So we're yeah, not gonna... those last two. Yeah. It's like the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> My first joke about I like how all three bottom games now in development. We had a trailer about maybe a year, year and a half ago, and then now in development. <laughs> so I know Shin Megami Tensei five was mentioned a, a long time ago. There was a trailer, and I'm like, oh, of course, Switch version, cool. Mm-hmm. Another three. The reason I bought a Switch a year ago, legit. <laughs> now you gotta the wait. Smash for... wasn't announced. Oh yeah, that's right. And then uh, yeah, wasn't it? Wait, wasn't Ben Ben three announced at the Game Awards? Game Awards like... a year ago. Last year. Yeah, last year. Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's how I know I've had it for a year. I legit was like, if I hear what I think I'm hearing from our usual watching stream, but. I'm forced to moderate, and that's why I'm slightly paying attention to it. <laughs> when I heard that, I'm like, if that's what you're saying right now, I'm buying a Switch, right? Oh my god, it's Bayonetta 3. I'm going, I'm buying the Switch the next day. <laughs> yeah. And we haven't heard anything since, pretty much. So, it just means they're really pol polishing up the game. So, I'm cool with that. And Platinum's probably busy with other some shit. other project. They're like, on three IPs, if I remember. Yeah, because there's Grand Blue, Relink, and then Bayonetta, of course, and something else. Cause... And I think they still have a personal IP that we still haven't heard. They're like, we have an IP, and it's like, that's cool. Glad you're Babylon's getting more work. Fall. You deserve it. Oh, that's right. Babylon's Fall, that was the other one. That's what I'm missing. Yeah. Dude, they are working on so many things. They are stretched. They are not a big studio. Yeah. No. Like, holy shit. I hope they did a lot of hiring. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, things go smoothly for all those games. Okay. So, the other jokes we have to mention about this dev kit. Words about Travis Strikes again after we saw an article saying that game's success may slightly push and how No More Heroes 3 is going to end up if it's developed or how much money they're going to yeah. have. And that angers me. Why? Do explain. It shouldn't. They shouldn't need that game. This is supposed to be a test to see if No More Heroes Three is popular enough. I understand. Okay, 
But still, it if that game doesn't do well, it might not. I don't know if I'm going to play it. I've watched stuff about it. And it's like, I want to play No More Heroes game on the Switch with the Joy-Cons and waving a Joy-Con around. And then they have this, like, miniature version, which I don't care about. Like, yeah. I'm glad. The best example would be, like, old game made better remade, which I haven't played a lot of, as someone became a friend's list and reminds me. But I'm going to play it. Is The World Ends With You. Mm. And Oops. the non-doc version... I left that alone a long time ago. Let's ignore that. In the non-doc version, you get to swipe at the screen. Just like the 3DS. It's just a but it's one mechanics. screen, so it should be fine, right? Yeah, the partner so mechanic. It's probably more like the switched. iOS version. Well, I think the iOS had the partner mechanic as a secondary tap that you can do for characters. Uh, it was on one screen. That's all I know. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how the iOS did either. I didn't play it. Yeah. I only played a uh, a DS. And then Damon X later. <laughs> So I had a mouse in one hand and a uh, DualShock 4 in the other. <laughs> and we're gonna I think I might have made it the game dropped. even more even more hard. <laughs> yeah. And then he dropped the game because he missed one quest item that screwed Dude, him out of pain. You, it's not just a quest item. It's literally an extra attack slot. I literally yes, I know. Had... I know. I understand. I didn't miss a single. I used game facts back in the day when I played on my <laughs> I don't, I don't... Imagine I'm playing. I'll that finish game that game someday. DS. Someday. Someday. On I'm not Switch? gonna bug you about it because <laughs> yes, I will play the Switch. Version. Okay. I'll okay. Yeah, like... Just like if I uh, yeah. there's another game I was talking about. Oh yeah, Trails of Cold Steel. Even though I made it like chapter something, whenever I sit down to play that. Which uh, will be soon. I, I got a lot of personal stuff I'm taking care of. I'm right. not gonna talk about on the podcast. Right. Uh, Understandable. So I, I will have time to finish these games that I really want to finish. <laughs> <laughs> so this is personal stuff that also makes me miss him on Discord as I sit there alone for some hours, but I'm ignoring that fact. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk to me. Like, where's the rest phone. of our friends right Just talk now? to They're me. playing uh, like... MKX again. <laughs> MKX? They're playing MKX. They're playing MKXL with Afro and... Dude, that, that trailer got him hyped. James even got it bought for him by Afro. 21 Savage got him hyped. 21 oh, Savage. They're ready for the... But anyways, other Switch games. Demon X Machina looks good. Yeah. I actually want to get that. I don't oh, yeah, give you gonna a get that with fuck me? about... <laughs> I'm getting that game. I'm getting Damon, Damon X Machina. Machina. You, you wanna play yeah, it? no, it looks good. We're gonna be uh, mech mech partners. Huh. It looks very. Sick. What was the word? Robo. Oh, I got a Ross? big detour. A big detour. Hot. <laughs> Yo. Did you hear oh, about? Boy. Did you hear about that stupid uh, mech game, where uh, you can play like co-op and everyone controls a limb? <laughs> No, actually. Oh no, you're talking about the fighting game that was recently shown. Somewhere was it a fighting game? I, I, it was a. Uh, I saw it on yeah. a, uh, a a quick look and over <laughs> Rumble I, I, that the best it, friends. It's kind of like uh, destroy all monsters. Like guys, they'll destroy all monsters. Oh, it's yeah, like 3D yeah. Space. yeah, you're talking about what the game best friends played before. Uh, it wasn't. Well, I watched the best friends one, but I think I watched. Uh, a giant beast cast quick play oh. or a giant bomb cast or something but like you can play up to four player co-op where everyone like power rangers controls like one limb oh okay oh huh. that's really and funny. since you and since you invite people like uh quiet and keaters and all of them over maybe look into that and see if y'all can all play oh my god <laughs> and all yell at each other in the same room <laughs> like <laughs> All right, I need you to punch. I I, I need <laughs> and there's like special moves tied to certain limbs that oh, yeah, only yeah. Like, I would be able to do. Oh god, it'd be funny. Yeah, <laughs> but that that's the detour. Right. Oh, that's we'll talk about that's it. really neat though. That's really neat. Uh. All right. So back like, on the notes, I'm slowly going through as we discuss thoughts. Pokemon. I don't know what to say about it. I hope it's nowhere yeah, close. Come out. Let's go. Looks pretty. I'll give it that game. But having the Pokemon Go mechanics. Turn me off from that game. Yeah, that's understandable. Especially when you can cheat the capturing. Does that actually work? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not guaranteed. 
it's still dumb. You have twice as much of a chance than one Pokemon. <laughs> well, yeah, Which yeah. Like, three. You you can throw two Pokeballs. You can battle two, with two Pokemon against one. Oh yeah, that part I think is the cheating part. You're right. Never oh mind. yeah, that's super cheating. Yeah. You're, you're fucking Team Rocket, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you are Team you're Rocket. You're Team Rocket with the dumbest sounding moves that are super OP. Yep. That are super. Bouncy Bubble is all I gotta say. Or, uh... Uh... Fuck. What was it? I don't know Sizzly, Sizzly that... Slide. Um... Zappity zap. I don't know. Point being. They legitly sound like the dumb Z moves that we got less than a generation ago. Oh, Just yeah. Renamed it to a real move. And uh, you also even have, speaking of Z moves, you, you actually have like a partner move, uh, which so, show, which indicates with like, for example, like an Eevee waving around that controller above your, your buttons. So like, uh, whenever that shows up, you just shake your controller and Eevee does like this super fucking ultimate attack or whatever and it just crashes through the pokemon and it explodes and then that that's the move and it does like a ton of damage and shit especially when your friendship is like super high up and uh, and not and not to mention speaking of friendship that shit gets you like it it saves it saves you so many times (laughs) it's it's stupid literally friendship is (laughs) the power of friendship is like just plot armor, pretty much. <laughs> so, ah, that game is that game is super wacky in its own way, and it's fun in that sense. Like you just feel super overpowered and, and shit. But yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, Pokemon goes back to its traditional roots. But of course, on the Switch, you probably make it, pr- make it pretty, and it'll, it'll have be all. Interesting to see if we go new new generation. Oh no! What will, generation it, are you on again? We're going into eight, I think. Oh my god! I don't know. I, I think oh, we're definitely not not on nine. I know that much. We're either on seven or eight. Let's just say. Oh shit! I gotta change my I'm class. Eight. <laughs> gotta say. Oh, grand blue. <laughs> I'm autoing. <laughs> it's okay. All right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm literally like looking over there. Right. Generation like, I'm, I'm like, eight, eight, because the last attack dex is generation seven, Sarah B. Yeah, generation eight. Okay. Switch. Okay. Well, yeah, generation eight coming to the switch. So, uh, I just can't Luigi's wait for Mansion it. three. I'm surprised that they existed ever. Right. I love how they go. Straight into three, even though no one really played Dark. What is it? Dark World? Where I forgot what it was called on the three. You know, it says 2019, but I bet you they could. Hmm, that game was on 3DS though. That'd be a weird port. Could be. I'm pretty sure the storyline doesn't really matter. I think it's just have like a new story. It's gonna be prettier. It's gonna be pretty. Function a lot better and not be in a 3DS. Yes. No offense to 3DS. I love that thing, but you know. Some games don't sound fun. Yeah. And you can, and then the one game that mostly everybody but me, Animal Crossing. Animal and, uh, Crossing, yeah. So, so it is coming, still coming to 2019. I can't wait. Uh, I'm sure, uh, Todd and uh, some other people are very excited for it. So. And I'm the only one, although it looks weird. I'm actually excited for Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 because I had fun with that game. I oh, yeah. need more characters though, oh, yeah. to be shown. I need Deadpool in that game. That's all I need. I'm pretty sure they'll add Deadpool at some point. I mean, they technically have a Disney version of Deadpool 2 coming out at some point, unless that came out already. Uh, oh, you mean one... once, a, once, upon a, once Upon a Deadpool? Yes, That's... the Disney version, which I'm like... I don't super want to watch that, but I still want to watch it at some point. Uh, you're Just better off it. waiting for it to come on DVD or something. I know. <laughs> and it like pretty said, much... we talk about the rest of the games. Yeah, Switch yeah. lineup next year. Looks good. I'm... Oh! I guess a random note talking about switching next year. Well, I'm not going to play it on the Switch. It's good that Fate Games coming to Switch next year, but they won't show it on that because this is dev- Nintendo titles. Yes. Yeah. What? Uh, Fate Extella. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm getting the, the PC one. version, so hopefully. Yeah, we're picking up PC. I might pick up PS4, depending on, you know, what we Don't think pick up PS4, PC. they'll censor something. <laughs> Never mind, you're right. Good point. Never mind. I'm, 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 I mean that in all serious. I'm not even cracking a joke. Oh, like, yeah, I know. PS4 I know. has lost so many of my purchases. <laughs> I, I'd sooner buy a Switch version, even if it's a visual downgrade, just because it won't be a downgrade, because it'll fucking... Have swimsuits and... Have uh, everything. Yeah. Why weren't they doing this I mean, with Tokyo Mirage sessions, dude? I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Could have played man, that game no. longer. Yeah. Right? Like an extra 20 episodes. Yeah, I know, right? Especially going <laughs> to be interesting if a certain leak that I was reading about. Oh, yeah, do tell. You, do tell. You didn't see the Persona Sunshine. Okay. I kept this on my Discord as a thing that someone's predicting some. So Persona Central got something from a channel site when Joker was announced. Oh, yeah, right. No. Oh, the Persona. Oh, is this the Persona 5 Arena thing? Yeah. After Ground Blue thing. And that the stage is going to be mementos and you hate life because you didn't want No, that okay. I, I don't mind that. Because <laughs> it just... Because uh, as long as it's not uh, the music. The mementos music. And probably, they'll have more music but yeah, the Persona 5 complete version, which Persona 5 still hasn't been announced for the Switch, and it easily could. Yeah. And then, of course, the second part of that thing was their guess with... That's the only thing we're going to know if this is legit, if the last part of that article is true, and the Dragon Quest character makes it into Smash. If it's the main character of Dragon Quest Eleven, that person has more inside info than what they need again. Mm. And I don't know how I feel about that, but we'll see. Because you know, Square Enix, I've talked with Square Enix, so yeah, yeah, we'll definitely, uh, we'll definitely see about that. But uh, what we will definitely see is that Grand Blue Fantasy fighting game. <laughs> like oh, that lead yeah. in because that's, that's what why that's why I'm running started it. it. <laughs> yeah. Grand Blue Fantasy versus, I'm uh, pretty excited for it, you know. But uh, makes me wonder how the game is going to control. And I do have some sort of rumored kind of article sort of thing. Uh that. The... Yeah. Oh, you mean the article? Yeah, I was about to say not the thing that someone showed from Discord. That the article eventually showed that. Also, I saw it. I'm like, oh. Well, yeah, I'll just paste it. Whatever. Fuck it. Uh, oh, oops. I'll find it eventually. Well, this is a start, so. Oh, oh, yeah, here it is. Never mind, I found the other other one. Oh yeah, uh, but let's just talk about the uh, characters first. So uh, they have Grand, of course. They have Catalina, Barry, and then uh. There's the full thing. Right. Okay. Actually, been posted. Yeah. The character we've seen so far. Oh, yeah, all of them are blue. Did you see the thing I posted about the person who figured out all the weapons in the... Uh, oh, I saw that, logo? but I forgot to like kind of put it in the... Uh... Here, I, I, I'll, I'll go grab it. Okay. Uh, so I guess we can read it from here. Gematsu. Uh... Multiple picks, by the way. Okay. Uh... Oh my god. Tomato. We're gonna have a spear character. It's... Oh no, not okay. One of these things I'm gonna have words about. Anyways, excited for the game. What they shown looks pretty. Mm -hmm. Holds up to its visuals because yes. Arxis is amazing. Yeah. Uh, they, it says that they chose Arxis because it because their styles, they felt like it fits best with their uh... Arxis is the best yeah. right now so yeah true true i think that's, that's why very, I hope, uh, appropriate mm -hmm. that's why i hope part of that rumor is true and persona 5 arena did get delayed because narcissus is working on it because that means it should be good i think persona 5 arena is still very quite possible because of the uh i think we went over this before when we were talking about uh the domain registrations yeah that's what i was also mentioned in that article was like their domains have all come true uh-huh and P5A yeah. was one of them. Yeah. 
Did you see uh, Coefficient's Joker reaction video? He was so wrapped up in thinking that they are announcing Persona 5 Arena. He didn't even see the Smash logo on the uh, envelope. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, so, so his reaction to him being in Smash was the cutaway where it said Super Smash Brothers on the red screen. And he was like, what? <laughs> he was like delayed. Oh, oh <laughs> it, yeah, yeah. It was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even watch Cold Vision stuff. It just popped up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, yeah. So that's for Grand Blue so far. And any characters I'm maining so far seen, I'm going to play Gran. And I'm probably going to play Catalina or Lancelot. Well, I'll play Catalina. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think uh, I think uh, that that would be a thing. Uh, but uh, I did I did I did want to like point out at least some of the things that might happen with this game. So, uh, did you read that interview? So yeah, uh, the one I or did you just read the Discord cliff notes? Uh, I'm reading the Kimatsu article notes. right now, and then uh, the one that's yeah, kind of second an interview. Yeah, the, the one... I think uh it would probably be best to actually read the interview because a lot of the things that they uh people took out of context makes it sound like a lot worse than it actually is but right you could go ahead and read well, this is cliff noted a bit yeah about what they probably should uh the second one says uh, we don't want to alienate uh beginners and those who aren't accustomed to games or probably fighting games uh we, we talked about this yeah it won't be a combo filled game so and what that means uh, is not that there's not going to be combos in it. If you look at the trailer, they're definitely doing combos. Mm -hmm. It means it's, for us as Americans, uh, it means it's not going to be a, uh, uh, like an Air Dash fighter, like uh, Blaze Blue or Guilty Gear. Mm -hmm. It's going to be more footsie based. Yeah. Like they, in the interview, they made the comparison. They want it to be like a uh, Street Fighter 2 type thing where it's like. Right you have the tools at hand and you want to be able to play them. They did make the comment about one button specials, which, uh, which is, is mentioned fine. In the next part of this, oh. but it's like, uh, we had this discussion when it was announced. Cause I, I came in and talked to you briefly about it. I'm like, they're going to find it. Cause they're like, they're going to be like, this is an, uh, an, for mobile game RPG players. They're going to have to find a way to, uh, make it accessible for them. Right. So, um, yeah. Uh, that's what they do with like Persona. BB mm. Tang. I was also going to say BB, BB Tang. Tang. Yep. Where they limited things because there's so many different systems. And that game's game fucking crazy at high levels. I don't even know what's going on. Still is. Good luck getting into that casual player. Which way do you got to block? Right. <laughs> getting hit from both sides. Right. I got it. I don't think or no. <laughs> he actually didn't win the recent tournament. It was uh, Ruby U. <sighs> Ruby Narakami. Ruby. Oh. And I was yeah. learning you, Gordo, because I got enough. So I think people are figuring out Gordo, Michi. I mean, there's some things people are missing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, next one was pretty much we kind of discussed. Uh, all the special moves can be unleashed with the press of a single button. So yeah, so it's kind of like smash rising rising thunder rising thunder would be a better comparison yeah that's probably a better comparison uh for skilled players on the other hand we are making sure the game has action and st strategic depth we're utilizing the know-how of arxis uh arxis so you can expect something good yep they uh they've done it they yeah. did it with dragon ball and they did it with blaze blue uh bb tag yes um, yeah oh i i should specify bb tag not yeah. blaze blue so. Yeah, <laughs> and there's a Blaze Blue coming to Switch, but we're we're not is hearing that? that much. It's the same game. Yes, it? it's the same most recent version that's on Steam. That oh, Central Fiction. No way. Yeah, no. last version. Uh, next one is the game speed is moderate and the combos are very simple. Uh, currently the game oh, system is such that difficult elements like juggling and aerials can only be done in very limited situations. Abilities and arts from the original game are included as skills. For example, Lancelot's Blade Pulse, or Blade Impulse, appears as a special move. Uh, uh, Wise Flugo is uh, activated as an art with a cutscene. Uh, Grand's ability Rage gradually raises his attack power. Catalina's Light Wall gives her a super armor effect, so she can try to counter. Uh, 
effects themed after triple attack, HP recovery, and attribute uh, attack up also exist. While we showed off characters with standard abilities in our initial announcement, in the future we will announce characters with more in-your-face abilities. We also uh, want to release additional characters as downloadable content. Of course, uh, Gran is essentially made to be as he was in the anime. He doesn't have a job or a class and fights alongside Ly uh, uh, Lyria and v uh, Vern. So he summons Primal Beast for his su super special moves. And spe the story mode is a major focus. It is an original story for those who haven't played the uh, smartphone game. But users who played the events of the smartphone game will also be able to get more enjoyment out of it. Uh, we also want people who don't like losing or winning to be able to play. So we're th thinking about a way for people to play in that regard. There is online support, player matching and ranked matching are planned. An arcade release is under con uh, consideration. Both side games and Arxis, uh, Arxis uh, want to make it happen. Development is currently about 60% complete. The fundamental components are nearly complete. And from here, uh, we're putting our focus on raising the quality. And next one, it says, this applies to both uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink and Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. We would like to also release this for Steam. Uh, we already have some titles for PS4 that are being developed in-house, such as uh, Project Awakening. And as a company, we will certainly continue to put our strength into consoles. So that's pretty much it on the article. But yeah. Oh, that reminds me of the second part, because we are going to talk a little about the other game, because they actually had bits because they interviewed him about Relink. But... Mm. Michi? Did you uh, let like, go of your push to talk? Yes. Uh, you bad habits again? die hard. <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited for that game. Oh, yeah, for Reeling, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I meant Versus, but... Oh, really? oh sure. well, Reeling well, and Versus, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for both. Mm -hmm. Reeling's made by Platinum, and this is Arxis, and Arxis makes fighting games. I think this is great because uh, you know they're re reaching out to two very um, visually popular genres of uh, games, you know, fighting games with their like supers and stuff like that, and then uh, action games, especially being developed by Plat Platinum. So you're getting like a really, you know, you're getting something really great out of that. So um, and I think I believe uh, both of them are getting a good budget. Thanks to side games, of course, I think. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna be definitely be hopefully uh, be polished, and uh, I I personally am definitely looking forward to both of those games as someone who has delved into uh, the mobile game uh, quite a bit out of all of us, I guess. It's good. I just don't play it. I like <laughs> should. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, I you... played it. Yeah. I'm trying to right now. <laughs> that game for, I may not have gone through a story, but I've gone through events for two years worth of stuff, and yes. people were shocked. Yes. As I'd explained to them of, like, these characters were in the game, I'm like, yeah, they had a lot of events back when I first played. Like, when Street Fighter V was released, they had originally just uh, Ryu and Rashida, so they kind of like fighting. Sly Games apparently likes fighting games. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. They, uh, they sponsor players yeah, like Daigo, Fudo, PR Balrog, even Snake Eyes. Uh, streamer. Oh, I keep mentioning, yeah, he's surprised to be like, why is Side Game sponsoring all this stuff? Well, now we know why. Yeah. Want to make their own fighting game. I, I always felt like, and th this is what I heard, and I, I don't know if this is true uh, because I, I, I wasn't, I'm not in the industry. I heard that when Side Games was forming and they were going to make uh grand blue fantasy they didn't really their goal wasn't to make a mobile gotcha money maker they wanted to make a good rpg which they ended up doing but i think it was like three years ago at the time where japan's landscapes like mobile game is the way of the future you have to make mobile games mm -hmm. if you want to succeed and i i guess they have uh one of my biggest appeals when i was trying to push everyone 
to play it, even though Michi had already started. I was like, guys, this is this is a fucking RPG. Yeah, there's gotcha to it. But school RPG when they made it. To me, it just seems it seems like a, a game. Mm. So yeah, free to play. Given. Oh, Go ahead. Let's... Given side games did not start with Grand Blue, they started with the original game called Frage of Bahamut, which mm-hmm. never came to the US. Yeah. Well, neither did Grand Blue. But they have an English or text translated. version, technically. I so. mean, yeah. there's no translation for Rage okay. of Bahamut yeah. at all. That game still sticks to if you want to play it, you have to do it in Japan. And then. Oh, yeah. Right. right. I don't know if you want to make jokes about any other games, side games I've been doing that people have been playing. Stop talking about Shadowverse. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't talking about Shadowverse. I want to say Dragalia Lost and. Yeah. I'm kind of behind on the event, but that's okay. Yeah, kind of. As for myself. <laughs> also, but... they are making Usume <laughs> some, some weird game we're not going to talk about because I'll just say something and then it's not bad. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. But yeah, Michi, the... Uh... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I gotta keep taking Black Knight out of my party. Can't oh, even use it. Yeah. Side games is technically the ones that made Zombieland Saga. Oh my yeah. god, that one explains why it was in hey, no. Zombieland, Uma Musume. Uma yeah. Musume, yeah. <laughs> Rage of Bahama, which I gotta watch, and then the newer one that I'm definitely gonna but no, watch. No, like, uh. Yes. I, I feel like they're more interested in making games like, for a mobile game company. They specialize they're, in mobile gaming. There is gotcha, but I feel like they're very generous. Like, oh yeah, very. I, <laughs> they're very slow at it right now. Like, I'm looking at their list of console games, legitly, and it's like Airship Q. I've never heard of. Then they're trying. Denver, I feel like they're like, trying to get into the mobile market. That's why they're touching these things. That's why they're trying to bring one of their most successful things, uh, Grand Blue, to console. They they did all that work to make that one their own personal emulator and app so people could play it on the computer. I can't boot that thing up on my phone without it saying, play on computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I mean, not that I have a browser to open it in on my tablet, so I uninstalled it because it was killing my tablet space. Knowing that I wasn't trying uh, to put you Hearthstone back you cut on off it. You cut, you cut off. Oh. My button in me. Anyways, my button that, me is that, is that your uh, your anime? <laughs> my button me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Anyways, uninstall it from tablet because taking up room wasn't trying to install Hearthstone again. Because I had to uninstall content. a bunch of sound files from Girls Frontline on my phone. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing was eating up like five gigs of space. Oh yeah, a lot of games do that. Technically, I could bring. Fire Emblem Heroes back to its old version and not high quality, but I won't do that yet. Yeah. Because QAP doesn't have Fire Emblem Heroes, so I can't make it install to use this program to install it to uh, an SD card, which is kind of annoying. I have to do things to my tablet that involve SD card and it working correctly. I've been, like, feeling... Like, I'm, like, slowly falling out of Fire Emblem Heroes. Welcome. I'm let you log in and draws. And maybe... Yeah, dude! Story log in and wait for lens. Lo- That's what I do. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't care about the crystals. Sometimes I don't even log in. in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have all the Fire <laughs> Emblem fighting game for... <laughs> <laughs> no, we got a real Fire Emblem coming to the Switch. Three, three houses, yeah. <laughs> yeah, three houses. Sometimes. As long yeah. as it does what Awakening... See, here's my disappointment on the last one. It didn't do what Awakening did and brought all the old characters like forward. Three Houses, I hope, does that. It didn't. I want well, like a 3D link. I haven't... Mm. I don't know. Uh, the my new biggest one was issue. Corey my biggest did not issue bring with any or old characters, I thought. It didn't bring Lynn. That was my main problem. M- Mitchy, well, my biggest issue with If or Fates was the fact that you had to kind of buy the game three times. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you I had to buy know. both games, beat it, and then download download True Ending DLC. 
You know what? I'll say this. All depends on who's on what side, and that usually will lead me towards one. <laughs> and then wait later, and we'll see how I feel. I haven't played last Fire Emblem because I didn't care about corn and. Well, the, the last one Japanese technically lore. was uh, the Echoes one, the Shadows of Valencia. Oh yeah. Yep. I heard that one was actually re- really well received. Yeah. But that was kind of a weird game. Mm-hmm. So. Good old Silicon. I will try out. I will try out houses. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I would. Would. I would like to try it. It's on the Switch, so why yeah. not? Have you not played a Fire Emblem game? A real one? No, I have not played a real Fire Emblem nice. game. Nice, I hope it's good. <gasps> yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> I hope it's good. Play back in GBA, where the two characters are right now on the Christmas banner, they don't care for either one, and if I was going to roll for a character, I'm not going to lie, it'd be Faye. <laughs> I want a Christmas dragon. I liked uh, dragon. Erica? Is that her name? Yeah, she's... Okay. I like her. I just didn't want them for Christmas units, honestly. I wanted, like, other... I'm glad Lynn's not there. I feel like (laughs) I need to get her. Uh, Is there a Christmas Lynn yet? No. No. Okay. There's five. Yeah, so good. Maybe it'll be a New Year Lynn instead. New Year Lynn. That's that's a thing you're forgetting. Sorry, my New Year's is reserved for Musashi. (laughs) All right. Her fate. Oh yeah, I got done with Babylon. Oh my god. <laughs> Screw the end part 30 of that. Saint, 30 Saint Courts. What do you mean oh, the end? Yeah, but if I complete the rest of the free quest, I'm going to have 90 before I get the 30. I'm going to have 120 nice. before Merlin. Are you trying to get Merlin? I'm going to try because nice. I need... Honestly, here's my problem. I love Cleopatra. She needs... I either need to bring up someone with good charisma... So at some point, which I forgot who I have. Oh yeah, Ozzy. Ozzy would be the good unit for her so I can get the guaranteed buffs or yeah, Merlin. Cleopatra just doesn't hit as hard as I thought she would, and I forget that because I use Ryko. Only too much. if her uh only if her skill hits. Yeah. Don't you have NP2? Yep, but Sometimes I don't. When you're doing basically free stories, I don't care as much for getting like straight up to NB2 and all that stuff. But yeah, and believe me, no, she also NB2 gets just naturally hits harder though, even at 100. percent Yeah, because of the Buster buff, she automatically gives herself, and then she has devilish Bodhista, so it buffs itself even more. Mm-hmm. Thank God I got two of those. I saw Although... a funny meme post about putting uh, Bodhista on a, a Doctor Jekyll. <laughs> What's that even? Oh, yeah. Well, well what what his overcharge does is it increases his buster effectiveness, like uh, while he's a berserker, because you know that's what his NP is. So he ends up getting like three hundred percent of his buster effectiveness increase or whatever. Christ. So he is a berserker. You just gotta work for him. <laughs> it's kind of silly. It's very memey. Yeah. Hello, games wise. We're looking at this thing. That Anyways, pictures are found in the logo. You excited for Relink Hawk to back on? Yeah, yeah, back on the Grand Blue. Uh, well, I was gonna games. finish up with the thing you put up, like versus Logan. Oh, go right ahead. Oh, oh yeah, did did we? The main characters. That? We did not talk about this. No, so, we, okay. we, did we did it. it. We did track. it. We kind of. So somebody. So uh, uh, at Dizzy Zitty on Twitter, mm-hmm. uh, looked at the logo where it has all the weapons all intersecting and it found out very which close. weapons. Which weapons they are, and uh, characters that are possibly in the playable cast. Uh, some of these are for sure because they were shown in the trailer, like uh, Charlo- Charlotta, Fairy was shown, Grand was shown, Catalina was shown, Lancelot was shown, Lil Wayne. I'm not excited, and his supers are probably gonna be Percival. What a waste! <laughs> Shut up. The four knights are probably gonna be in the Vasarega. And or Dragon Knight. I have Zeta. She's pretty cool. Yeah, she's a Lancer. She got but anyways, my guess glasses. was like already that the Knights might be in this game, which is uh, and Lancelot there will be DLC. And first of all, I think she, yeah, which means Siegfried will probably be there either as a main cast or I don't know twice. I don't think that's, that's a, a that's a ten. If it's just these, that's a ten player starter roster for a footsie based fighting game, which is kind of common nowadays. Unfortunately, kind of sucks. 
but uh yeah not street fighter i know street fighters done it like it's very common like a lot of games are releasing kind of with smallish rosters nowadays sure but yeah the cast is okay i don't hate all of them except lil wayne and if one of his supers involves the rest of his brothers i'm gonna punch someone in the face why you got why are you hating on lil wayne lil wayne because Lil Wayne's the worst version of them all, <laughs> brothers. Come on. Look at He's this a rare. He's not even. Come on. Look at this cat man, dude. You know, you know who I'd hope for? Eustace. But he's a gunner. And you... this game with gunners might not happen. <laughs> no, not, not in a footsy pace thing. So when Max <laughs> Fucking left a comment being like, just need some uh, edge lords with scarves. I was like, oh my god. Oh, I saw that. You have no idea. You have no idea. I literally went and grabbed Siegfried. I was like, come on. His name's and Siegfried. someone showed him Vassara, which is. I thought I thought Nicholas was a. Uh, I thought Nicholas wasn't an actual. I thought he was a uh, a collaboration character, but someone sent him. No, that. he's he's a real character who's basically is a common writer event but he's not a common writer i i don't want I, I thought he was actually he's a, a scientist and he can transform and he built robumi you know oh, our bot Robomi, yeah <laughs> yeah yeah but regardless there's no way everyone's favorite character is going to make it in the game nope it's impossible see. I mean, I can. But I swear, if Narmaya doesn't that. make it, what the fuck? Or, or I mean, this it? game's on PlayStation. I don't know if they're gonna allow her. <laughs> oh shit! You're right. There's no <laughs> way. All and what's her name? The cow tits. Oh, uh, Sturm. She ain't making it. <laughs> uh, unless they. You're eat. right. Yeah. Let's go Dumb over. Let's girl. let's sort through the list by. And be like, these characters are too hot for PlayStation 4. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I really hope that doesn't happen. It's some happening. Cool looking you, it's not going. It's happening. I we got to start buying games on Switch and PC, Michi. It's the only way. I know. But see. there's still some good PlayStation exclusives is the problem. <laughs> hmm. Well, then you have no options, unfortunately. But if you can find them other places... I'm gonna say, Don't Want to Cry won't be censored anymore because that game is already something, but yeah. Hell, you know, no, I don't know how about us, like, I would love to talk about my Devil May Cry game. demo impressions if it came out on a real console. Yeah, we would have had all that for a topic for all of us at this point, but yeah, that it's probably didn't gonna come, come out on a real console. Timed exclusive demos, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, time exclusive content. <laughs> in general, ladies and gentlemen. What was it? Cough, oh, cough, black God. ops. <laughs> but anyways, I, next part. I know I know we said gunner characters might not happen, but I still want Silva. I don't care. Listen, <laughs> uh, it she's gonna be super simplified and if she has any gunshot move, it's gonna have like ten years of recovery. Because <laughs> they want it to be like and I'm thinking, because Hawk, we've discussed this many times, like whenever we were talking about how we don't really like Street... Well, I don't. Right. I, I don't know, but I don't really like playing Street Fighter Five. It's... I don't I really like it. Right. I appreciate I what they're okay. doing, and they're still supporting it. I'm glad Capcom's supporting their fighting games. I don't like the way it plays. I don't like the flow and how I, how heavy of a... It's less footsies. It's not the Street Fighter I was used to in 4 and stuff, you know? Right. Like, or even KI. KI is fucking nuts. And I feel like I I played more spacing and footsies in KI than I do in Street Fighter Five. Uh, but I'm raring for a footsie-based kind of slower-paced fighting game, in which they... And since they said that for Grand Blue Versus, I'm super down. Super excited. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm all down I for just that. like Arsis games that aren't super. I don't know. I I didn't get into Guilty Gear because I didn't have my character. I needed one character, and that was it. And he didn't show up. And I tried to play it? Raven, and uh, 
Every time I forget his name whenever An- I discuss with Hawk because we were talking about Anji. Anji. The guy with yeah, the fans. The fan guy. Fan. The guy, the the guy talking with the... in the Japanese area that was quote unquote, you know, infected. And you know who came from that? Biken. I like Biken. Yeah. Anji is the guy with fans. With the glasses. Glasses, fans, some dragon. It's kind of. He was a neat character. I'm sure he was like one of the staples of Guilty Gear. He was Gear. like, yeah, he didn't do too bad in the popularity poll when they were asking who they wanted to come back, which we don't know if it was 100% true. I know Holy Soul. Holy Order Soul was very much on the top of that list, but thank God that didn't happen. We have enough games with the repeat characters, but with slightly different variations that eventually will be segued into later. <laughs> Whose name literally means shadow. Yes. And I made jokes about shadows just during the entire time. I'm like, his name is... Oh, okay. Okay. Good old... Oh, wow. well, good old Kage has made it into Street Fighter V. In, uh, A.K.A. Evil oh, Ryan. Kage? Uh, Believe no, it? No, uh, no, Cage. That's his name. Believe it? Hokage? Where we sag... Relink, I read, rereading these things I read over. Looks like a good game. Looks like it's going to be fun. My favorite note is they can't say specified characters, but you're going to have a lot of different weapons for fighting styles. Oh, and not... multiplayer! And multiplayer! So I mean, Silva oh, yeah. could make it in there. Woo! <laughs> and you can select out of the characters that have been unlocked, which is neat. And you're going to do quests. You're going to have quests just like the game. This game looks even more towards their mobile game as a console game, and it's scary i feel like that's what they want to do they want to make bigger games yeah. next, side games not side money next thing grand blue mmo and i would play it uh i'm <laughs> i don't know about that one chief <laughs> anyways segue but yeah grand blue wailing i watch video game looks pretty holds a style uh, that game has even more of a chance of us for hoping characters that deserve to be in that game. Yeah, then I, I think we'll see a game. more. Uh, we'll see. We'll probably see a bigger roster, maybe for uh. I mean, Relink. Yeah, this part of the article that's the main part is like while their connection from main qu- quest of the story it takes place a little bit past the current main quest of December 2018. And I'm like, there's a lot of characters you can pull from. That that's good. That's good news, and maybe hopefully they'll think the same thing and be like, "We'll have DLC." And I'm like, "Please give me DLC of characters." Of a mm. Platinum game, if it plays fun, yeah. It hasn't been technically a bad Platinum game, in the sense of how it controls. Unless you want to count Legend of Korra. <laughs> even the game controls even those well, ones. Just... I enjoyed. Like they're clearly was not amazing. Platinum's best, but they 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 seem limited by budget. Right. Yep. I like the and Transformers. Then, I don't think anyone played, unfortunately, mm-hmm. the Ninja Turtles game. Oh no. <laughs> uh, no, and there's it's actually I think impossible to. Call oh no, that's them. impossible unless you find. Yep. I don't think it came out physically, so yeah, no, that game's gone, dead, was buried. Rip. Yep. <laughs> so last note about that. Back to Kage. Right. Yeah. Evil Kage Ryu. now. Now we can actually talk about Kage. So, uh, Evil, or AKA Evil Ryu, has finally made it to uh, Street Fighter V. But Shit. he was the only character announced uh, so far, which was kind of disappointing because I was really looking forward to the rest of the uh, season four. Content. I, is there hey, going to be a season four? I don't know. They didn't say. They, well, here's the hear part my about theory? that video. They said a new season approach. Yeah, a new season know. of changes. Like, And then they showed a bunch of gameplay changes, but they didn't even hint or even utter character oh, pass or season pass. They didn't even show an ad between matches that talked about season passes. Right, yeah. It, might be so the game go and working to develop for their next a lot of people 
are theorizing that they might be trying to go free to play. Free to play? Mm -hmm. Oh. You mean in. Are we going to say KI standard free to play? Kind of. Like, they're pushing fight money. Uh, there was already that bug where people was like, hey, why can't I select Armika? You know? Like, uh, there's all these options I feel right like they're now. working on the backboard that seems to make it super possible to make it like, all right, everyone who's bought it, you know, you get everything, but, you know, hey, everyone else can try Sh Street Fighter. The, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Sagat week. You can mm -hmm. play Sagat for a week. Earn some fight money. Maybe unlock them. I don't know. Right. It just seems like yeah. that's what they're pushing. Could be. I mean, my theory I heard from somebody was like, maybe they're going to do... I said that, but maybe they're going to do like KI releases of characters and not pushing a season pass. They're going to be like, here's the you, And then maybe some point down the line, they announce another character like Shin Hazako and Eagle and what's the last one? Kilgore. Still uh. a name for a character. Because they also did that for their last season of KI was free to play, but then they announced four characters you can buy and play, and they Maybe. fundamentally are different versions, but weird part with that was most of them were different versions. There's only one new character, which was Eagle. It seemed kind of weird to... Uh... Those finals, though, were... Fun wanna, no, it seemed kind of weird to want to take after... Uh... Killer Instinct. Yeah. Killer Instinct. Well, not that know. not that, that those those business decisions are why Killer Instinct eventually just didn't uh go over well. What killed it was exclusivity. Right. But I don't know. Just have to see. And I don't know, their esports thing, which Capcom's more about as I remember listening to grand finals and the afterwards they're like, and give it up for the Capcom esports team. And I'm like Oh, you're the guys that killed Infinite, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, I'll just blame that on uh, poor marketing in general. Disney. It's okay. Capcom might Disney. be better, and we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see uh, if that guy. I, I don't have much faith in Capcom, Capcom fighting games at the moment. At the moment, Ar well, Arxis seems the guy to have fighting from... games by the balls. Well, that. Well, we'll see if that guy that's from Monster Hunter that's literally killing it for monster hunter can hopefully save that division because i mean look at how monster hunter just sold thing for capcom it's legitly probably capcom's best game right now until resident yeah. 2 and don't it actually won uh awards yeah it's still not an rpg and i will argue that to death <laughs> it's uh yeah i wasn't on that podcast but i did listen to it i would have been like dude i like monster hunter a lot it's not an RPG. You could say that you're a role player, right? But if you go by that definition, any game with a character is a role playing game. Yeah. So. I mean, if you want to go by like gear and stats, okay. But then where's the other mainstay of RPG? Gear and stats? You know what also has that. gear and stats? Call <laughs> of Duty. And they level up, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> you level up, see? <laughs> RPG, <laughs> RPG of the year. <laughs> but no, it's like, regardless, it was enough to be because if you notice with the Game Awards, a lot of American games winning. Yeah, a lot of them, American and like European, very Western, Western focused. Mm -hmm. Let's not talk about Red Dead Redemption winning too much. <laughs> and God of War, God of War, Western fine. focused. Yeah. Uh, Nino Kuni two not winning anything. Western focus. Right. I didn't even Dragon play that game. Quest, Dragon winning, Quest. More. Octopath. Bunch of Japanese nominations. I think they even gave awards for... Like, there's this point where Jeff Keighley's like, and the winner is Red Dead Redemption! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say this so many times! You know. Yeah. Yeah, they all, uh, only, what, Monster Hunter World... And what was it? Um, Dragon Ball Fighters won the uh, <laughs> won the oh, yeah. awards yeah. as Japanese games. So still surprised me. Fighters won. won I'm not surprised because uh, Dragon Balls like Dragon Ball is like over. I know. Like, and Arxis is like you said, killing it. 
They're just they're making games. Two of their games that were nominated. Watch. And not even like Tekken was nominated for strange for some strange reason. And Soul Calibur was on there. You know? Because they like to focus recent, I think was more of the problem because Soul Calibur technically came out this year and isn't Tekken like a year old already. True. Well, Tekken was like last year and they just announced the season and there's some characters that a lot of us don't care about. But if we're going to go back to Tekken, it would be for Julia. Right. And That's it. Street Fighter was on there because only only because Street Fighter Arcade Edition, I guess, technically counts. Which was not a new version of the game, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a little technical. I'm like yeah. Guilty Gear when it switched from, like... Revelator. XR to Rev. Yeah. It could be considered different. Right. But whatever. I mean... for Street Fighter. Yeah. Game Awards. What can we say? Anyways, uh, I think we can... Uh, well, we need to talk more about uh kage and stuff because um uh he seems to be so far just i don't know like people talk bad about seems his neutral average. yeah it's they talk bad about bad about his neutral but once you get in it's like yeah you know of course it's re evil ryu but he he doesn't have a coma as neutral which is the main problem for like hadao and all that lore as we know street fighter like him not having a traditional fireball blows my mind right when i heard them like wait i hear him yelling hado and he's like listening so like i said listen to, i listen to max and their impressions on audio only and, and like he doesn't have a traditional fireball and i'm like what he's a shoto he should have a fireball mm -hmm. and then the tatsumaki sampuka fucking half a kick it's, yeah, it's only a, like half a... That one kick move looks really weird. Yeah. It doesn't look right. Especially it looks like I'm like kicking someone it. behind me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Ryu's bear from Smash. <laughs> yeah, oh his old bear. <laughs> it's pretty much what it, what, it, what it looks like, but he's going forward, which is kind of weird. And... I'm not going to talk about too much about this. Because even... When the person I like that I I don't watch his videos, no offense to bad idea in them, but he's like, I'm not gonna do a design shop about Evil Ryu, and I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to talk about his design. It looks ugly. What are those horns? What is he, <laughs> Soki from Soki looked better than that in Onimusha Dawn of Dreams. Oh right. <laughs> Soki. That's what I thought about him. I'm like, if he gets a Soki outfit my mind would not be blown at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's... Yeah. He's supposed to, uh, of course, take after the uh, traditional Japanese Oni, but I don't know, man. His bottom... The, the bottom teeth or the bottom fangs and the horns just doesn't really sit right with me at the moment, at least. Anybody that listens to this and actually plays Street Fighter Five, play Street Fighter Four arcade mode in street fighter 5 and see the ending and that's if you haven't seen old Ryu, evil ryu that's what it used to look like and it still looked better than this yeah didn't need horns just give him hair and maybe he doesn't need a giant hole in his chest again but whatever yeah well and i don't know just, his name just... translating to shadow yeah and like him being like, I am you, Ryu. I just kept making Persona jokes in my head the entire time. <laughs> yeah. He's Persona 4. Embodied. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, his, what is it? His, his uh, other costumes are kind of interesting. More on the, uh, oh, the like Oni the stuff. Hair. Just remove the horns and the basically... I hope they come out with a classic, uh, classic costume. People already modded it out. Yeah. Less than a day, they've already modded it out. I'm like, good. And then just have that mod with, like, the other costumes, and it's fine. Yeah. Like the basically complete Oni version battle costume, which you have to pay money for because Capcom still. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chris, are you, are, do you know you're muted, muted or you're doing something? Yeah, I know I'm muted. Okay. I just have no uh inputs nope. for uh Hage. Wow. For, for 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 cage. 
I could yeah. understand you're busy and I'm going to just listen to people on audio only, like listening to their impressions of a character. My yeah. second problem with Kage, if it's... I could see him being good if he can do, if people figure out how to be like with him in Akuma. Yeah. Because he is a glass cannon. Yeah. I watched Steve play G and he would hit Max once with his full like V trigger and 50% of his, over 50% of his life was gone. I'm like, Ouch. What? He might have the lower. He probably has Akuma's health in that game. Oh yeah. I'm like, oof. yeah. Did they change Akuma's health back to uh, what was it like 800 or some shit? I forgot to read that. I read that part. I of super don't know. I'll admit I have not read the patch notes. I've, I've read the patch. Good. I've read, I've read. I heard Ken's dead, and I'm sad, and I don't want to return to that game. Yeah, that sucks. But you know who's back to life? Alex. Woo! <laughs> Dude, Alex. Somewhere got... in my brain, I knew that was coming. <laughs> Somewhere, I'm like, he's gonna say something about Alex. Just. Dude, Alex got buffed. Like his, they, they, they over, they literally overhauled his fucking uh, uh, V scale. So now that you can actually have more friend advantage and, uh, on top of hard hit. So that means if you land uh, certain buttons, you, they, those buttons can now combo into uh, like other buttons. And then you can make a new combo out of it, which is absolutely you mean cool. The thing he probably needed from the beginning, but they're like... Cap yeah. <laughs> and his, uh, his, his knee, his flying knee or whatever... Now hits yeah. from the ground, which is like, what? <laughs> so you don't have to first. Yeah. Next time you see Hawk Stream, you might actually see some Alex trying to reach and learn that game. Maybe <laughs> I'll just lab it, but I'm I'm just gonna hit the lab. At uh, that's as far as I go. If I'm gonna go back to that game, because I am curious okay. about just messing around with Kage, right? But and. I mean, I don't have a season pass. I have no reason ever to go back. Right. And that game just got... Nerf and Ken, cool. I'm fine with it. I'm not <laughs> angry. The only character I like to play, and thank God they gave him his classic outfit, but he still looks slightly weird. Yeah. Uh, Rio, Rio, uh, Rio got buffed. Um, Cammy got, got nerfed. Cammy. Cammy got nerfed. Her nerf, nerfy... Yeah, I haven't heard anything yet because once again, best opinions are always competitive players because competitive players right. learn these characters inside and out. It's like this is this hurt this character. Right. Um, I think uh, what was Abigail it? got nerfed. Abigail got nerfed. Which, yes. Which is unfortunate because I'm like, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about that character. He's stupid. I hate his design, but it, I give it to the guy who got stuck. It he had to work. Oh, Inabashi. He still had to work hard. Inabashi, yeah. He still had to work hard with that character, and right. the character got nerfed for like one time, and I always hear... I shouldn't say always hear person, people. It's one person named <laughs> Steve that complains randomly about stuff and makes me angry, cough. Wise to be in Soul Calibur like anyone else. I got triggered. Mm. So I got triggered. <laughs> that shit about 2B for so long, and I'm like, do you, do you understand anything? Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm out. You didn't play the game. Just Steve? Yes. It's okay. <laughs> anyway. There's a reason I'm not sub. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> Sub he subbed to some loser who only streams maybe once a month. <laughs> he won't even sub to Steve. God damn. I mean, Dang. I'm sub to three fourths of the group. I'm sub still to Kenny. I'm sub. I did it just Simmons for reasons because day one. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm always watch the minions right now because it's so comp. Anyways, back to the game we're talking about. Right, boss and nerd. Yeah. Uh, what was it? What was it? What was it? Um, I know Ryu's fireballs Amy got, got her, better. Abigail. Abigail got, got yeah yeah. Abigail got nerfed. Uh, Zangief got fucking buffed again, dude. Because you can Maybe now cancel Amy his Bosch uh. Will switch back to it. Yeah, because uh, you can you can like cancel his uh, his uh flex. You know how you can like hold it? You can now yeah. just cancel it with a back dash, which is crazy. Uh, I actually heard uh, Ultra David talk about it, and he said it would be crazy. Oh yeah, if but... it was like flex oh. back dash, but he described it as like it seems like almost nothing. Oh okay, because huh. he was like it's like flex. Good opinion. Back dash. 
He loves his grapplers. And yeah. I, I think yeah. he likes he likes what they've changed and but he says it's not what he thinks he needed mm. to become a lot better. He he actually said hand. that if you're go- if you want any type of grappler character, uh, it's probably Alex right now. Even though he's not like oh my God, a grappling. prime grappler, he he says he thinks he's the best right now. Like that has like <laughs> grappling. Right. In it, so. Yeah. Because he's the mix. Yeah. He's legit the mix well, of. He, even he, like... he was describing how his V skill actually is a lot better now since yeah. it adds frame advantage and gives like specific combos. So like. I, think, I, I had listened to the uh, Ultra 10 TV uh, oh. talk show right. at work today. So. Oh, okay. I need, I, the, I need, all I these impressions just come from that. I need to listen to but that. You said uh, if the backdash was faster, it'd be better. Right. And, but uh, yeah, also the fact that uh, armor, armor, armor doesn't save you from death. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. He did bring that up. But I think uh, I, 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 I forgot if, because like I was listening at work. So I, I, they were talking about like. They're not sure if it was a typo on the patch notes, but you might take half damage uh, oh, with, when, when you flex on something. Uh-huh. Or, but they don't know if that was a typo. But if, but he was saying if your damage is reduced by half that you take when you flex on something, he said that would be big. Uh, but, uh, I don't have the actual news for that. Right, right. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll we'll see. Let's see how the the players uh develop for uh next year and uh we'll see how capcom pro tour goes once again and we'll see if we'll ever see more characters because uh yeah. we all don't know only uh kage at the moment who came out the same day he was announced which was yeah that was a nice surprise but i was still disappointed that uh no other characters was announced but we'll see we'll see what happens Randomly go to other patch notes involving a bad card game, and I see nerfs, and it's making me want. Oh yeah, uh, Guile got nerfed. Again. Guile got. Nerfed. Oh yeah, Guile got nerfed, and people are like, well, we'll see where Daigo goes again. Yeah, right, right. It's gonna I... be Kage. It's gonna be decently Ryu. I hope Ryu. I think he's mostly. I... Because... Well, I think I heard that uh, Daigo doesn't like Kage as much, so he'll probably stick with I mean... either uh, Ryu, Guile. Or, or both. Struggle bus guile. Yeah, pro. <laughs> both. Yeah, both. Yeah, he might have like a pocket I... guile or pocket Ryu. I don't know. I didn't hear much about Jerry, which is a sad note because I think I still think Jerry is still one of those most interesting characters that they brought back. Right. Right. Yeah. I heard buffs. I heard nurse. I'm like, I don't know about that character. Yeah, I haven't heard much. That character from... should be decent. Yeah. Uh, I think Vega might have gone buffed. I think he has like more oh. combos. I think I got more combos or something. So I don't know. I, I should a bit, but it's always hard to tell. Yeah, I don't know about Balrog. Yeah. I don't know about uh... Kabuki. Apparently got buffed, and I'm like, really? What the? Really? F- <laughs> Jeez. Someone listened to a podcast, but I didn't hear anything, and I'm kind of curious. Like, well, okay, Kabuki has a lot of damage, but she's still kind of a cannon, I think. Like she can't do everything. I mean, she didn't win. Yeah, there are two. Abuki's just a blender, eight. dude. Yeah, she's the mix-up queen in that game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know about Bison. I think he might have just Bison might got, have got he got buffed. buffed. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I think uh, he got apparently no, he got buffed with the because his V skill apparently works his, better. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his big issue was, uh. He relies on getting V char uh, uh V trigger, so they made his V skill better. So right by making it better, it's uh he thinks it's gonna be a lot. He's gonna be real good. Also on the Alex note, apparently uh Problem X wants to go back and uh, ooh he oh yeah yeah, yeah I heard that Alex. I heard that <laughs> he's the Evo, the Evo champion. champion. I just got reminded of with Bison. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is I- and even though Bison got buffed. Saw the Alex buffs and was like, I want to play that character instead. Mm-hmm. I want to play the fun characters that people don't, you don't see a lot, mm-hmm. which is good. I think that's the best mark because then people don't learn against that character. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Games. I wouldn't be surprised if he dropped Abigail at that point then. But I don't know. We'll see. I don't know about Birdie. Birdie, I, I, I have no idea. I don't give a care about I, that I, character. I didn't hear 
uh, maybe I wasn't listening. I didn't hear anything about Brady. Right. <laughs> I mean, neither one of them play it. David probably doesn't care, and definitely James Chen wouldn't care. Uh, he cares about Cammy. Yeah, that's I, about it. Yeah, and I don't know what happened. Hit. I I don't know how Akuma is. Um. I the only reason I'm curious about Akuma was like, where's Tokita gonna go? Is he gonna try Kage? You never know with him who he's gonna play. Right. But yeah, Manat, that troublesome character that's always good to look at on screen, but you know, I didn't hear anything about her actually. Yeah, same. Sucks yeah. Justin Long lost. She had those games and then. I'm like, it's fine, and I didn't listen to the rest of it, and then I come back, and it's like, he lost in a reverse sweep, and I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I forgot who beat him. I, I forgot who took him out. But it yeah. was Inabashi. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Inabashi. <laughs> Horrendously. Uh, Inabashi. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, he got touched by the Abigail. Yeah. But hey, at least he'll, he'll, he'll probably go back to he? Geef now. Because I heard from Nemo that fighting geefs are pretty hard. So. <laughs> oh my god, Nemo face, never forget. Yeah. And he's a good resource. What the hell, fun? Who's on? Yeah. Uh, but for now, it, it, it's interesting. Uh, we'll see how uh, everything kind of evolves at that point. So players will always. Check. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Sakura got super buffed. So yeah. We'll... Oh, yeah. Sakura, I apparently heard, got buffed. I'm just double checking who we're missing and talking about. Yeah. Urian! Urian apparently mentioned, the, I heard the word buff with him, and I'm like, oh, please let that character come back, because I think Urian's actually interesting to watch in that game with mirrors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, uh, Nikali, I don't think I heard shit about, and that character's whatever. Mm -hmm. Mika. I think Fang Aaron. got more interesting, too, because he got a new move where, where he can, like... Fang's always interesting because he's the weirdest character that's nobody plays him. Right. Except Sonic Fox did, but, you know, that man plays too many fighting games. He can't be in the mall. Yeah. <laughs> that he... happens when you're good. Yeah. And he drops Street Fighter Five, which is, uh, eh, yeah, you know, kind of a smart mm, move. He wanted to play one character, and then they nerfed him for some reason. And it's like, well, I have other games to play and win money at. Right. Right. Cody, I think, got buffed is the last one I want to talk Like, a lot of DLC characters seem to get we're mostly messed with of last season. Mm -hmm. Now you think about it. But Abigail... Oh, right. Yeah, Colleen apparently got better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or she can now, like, cancel her second knife dash and go into super, and it allows for more combo opportunities in general because now she can cancel. So... Yeah, I don't know. I haven't I, seen much. Yeah, again, uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see how the uh how the meta uh changes around. So uh, I hope it changes. I still love listening to this game in general on audio only and listening to you know good commentators like Chen and David, Walter David and all yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. Saying Jam and Tasty Steve who are ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, all right. So let's get into the uh, miscellaneous talk and hopefully we can wrap things up. So, uh, this was a I while back. Enough. This was a while back, and we're on the topic of censorship, you know, as we were talking about it, you know, for a couple of this episodes. This all you two? I'm gonna go get pizza. I got nothing about... I don't even know why this... No, no, you gotta thing. talk about Sandra and Kagura. <laughs> I'll talk about Sandra and Kagura, but the and next part, the that SAO now. episode, I got nothing. <laughs> uh, all I gotta say is, like, because, uh, like I said, this happened before, is, uh... They edited and censored a uh, uh, a scene in Sao. It's it's like it was like escalating I mean, to rape, pretty much. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it's some weird NTR stuff. I, I don't know. I don't watch Sao. Right. But um, uh, it it man, that guy, wh whoever does that animation, likes tongues or some shit. <laughs> but anyways, uh, there's literally like it's like baffling how much Ani Aniplex had these the version changed for the uh the western audiences i suppose mm -hmm. like there's literally a part where it blacks out uh it zooms in completely on a character's face so you can't see anything mm -hmm. uh it 
like like and you still know what's going on and it even had the uh viewers discussion is advice thing yeah and uh it, it comes to that like a uh, sensitive topic where it's like censorship and like and these are people who you, most of the time i think when people pay for crunchyroll subscription which is owned by anaplex because mm. uh, this is primarily what people are out crying like why is crunchyroll uh censoring this so it turns out it was all of the ones just almost all the ones distributed by anyplex mm -hmm. uh you expect that you would get the exact same thing that's why it's like simulcast and it kind of boasts upon itself like you know the authentic uh anime whatever experience mm -hmm. well you know what all those people going to uh pirate sites or like uh what like what, what is it like kiss anime or whatever or master anime like they, they get the raw yeah they get the raw with and it's like what the crap man i mean you're gonna put the basically the tv ma thing on it or whatever the viewers discussion thing right but distribution companies is gonna be all like no you, you don't get to see it in its original form. And yeah, yes, it's a very controversial scene. I, I don't know what the context is, but in, in my mind, if I want to uh, experience a story, I don't want it to be altered. We, we kind of complained about this with Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Yeah. In a way, like, oh, yeah, you know, I get it. You know, it's like, or or even in Girls Front Lines, like, oh, yeah, you're censoring the cleavage. But, like, the, the more I think about it, I'm like, but why does it matter? Right. Like, even on the other side, because I used to use the argument, why does it matter in being like, you're not going to play it because they just covered up cleavage. But then I'm like, why are they taking the time to cover up the cleavage? Yeah. And, you know, I, I did a lot of self-reflection on this. And I'm like, why the hell am I being told what I can and can't consume simply because some higher ups are like, oh, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. You're going to tell me I can't eat at Gordon Ramsay burger because the burger might be undercooked and could get a 12 year old sick or something. No, I want I want the burger. <laughs> Don't give me no fucking shitty ass Big Mac. Yeah, give give me a fucking Gordon Ramsay burger. burger. And I, <laughs> like I know the context is, but it's like it, it could start with like this scene, right? Yeah. And what if they start cutting out entire episodes? Like, oh nope. Oh, just, hot tub episode. Right. Bad. What if they start being like, oh nope, that fight scene, too brutal. Mm -hmm. Too graphic. Let's add, yeah. Let's add motion blur. Oh god. Or something. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. It's it, it, it's more of it's it's a sign of like what is going on mm -hmm. where and some people speculate it might be because of the outcry with uh, the Goblin Slayer episode 1 oh, drama. Yeah. But I don't know. Censorship's just Maybe it's just that it's more on my radar than it once was, but mm -hmm. it to me it seems to be going abundant. Lately. Yeah. I mean, yeah, not to mention the whole thing with PlayStation. That's like... Yeah, and that, and it's not even just saying, oh, Western. Mm -hmm. They want to censor it even over in, in Japan. Japan. It's just like, yeah. what the crap, dude? I can slap fucking Asuka's thighs on my Nintendo Switch, and you're not even going to let me see a girl's fucking back of her jeans? Right. Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there's some butt cheeks sticking out of those short shorts. We can't have that. <laughs> censor out those fucking pelvis bones. Yeah. <laughs> you two knowing better as my random question is the version censored actually being shown on television or is it on the internet hmm? the uh the the japanese or... raw w uh, was sent to other regions like the ones the uh a any so version one shot of... on tv and maybe on in japan the one shot on tv in japan and distributed by non aniplex uh uh localizers or whatever you mm -hmm. know the ones in charge of bringing it over yeah so that's, it was like an Aniplex decision, not even... That's stupid. Yeah, I, I don't know what the decision was, but... Yeah, no idea. But what we, what we know... I don't watch SAO, but... I haven't watched it either, but, I, but either way... I care I, for the series. It's a neat concept. It started... When it stuck, I heard season stuck three is RPG. supposedly good, and people shouldn't hold the faults of original SAO against it, but I don't watch the series at all. I wanted to start watching Overlord, but fuck, Crunchyroll is shit. <laughs> right, because <laughs> right they took out, like, what, two of the seasons? Season one! Yeah, season one. Season two and three are there. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. let me just jump in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back to the fucking pirate sites, dude. I'm trying to be a good 
consumer. I'm a healthy consumer. If you give me a good product, I'll pay for it. But right, right. now, dude, crunch, crunch your rolls seeming like a shit product, dude. Yeah. I mean, I might have to just send fucking now online. I'm just gonna send fucking ten dollars straight to Japan. <laughs> just random Japanese fucking PO box. I don't know. Everyone's mm-hmm. just starting to become more competitive online. Is more of that thing with how many online exclusive. Are, so if everything. you keep, yeah, that's not good. Look at Netflix. That's not good for consumers. To Marvel. Mm-hmm. That's not good for yeah, consumers no, when you start splitting stuff up like that. Yeah. Uh, like, no, exactly. Because I'm not. I already, you know, because that doesn't make him like, oh, they'll come and pay for our subscription. No, that's just gonna make us go fucking watch it on Kiss Anime or some shit. Yeah. Because gonna... we're already paying for a subscription. In general, I'm not gonna buy the fucking for, like... cable bundle. I don't watch wrestling. I just wanna <laughs> watch. <laughs> I just want to watch the fucking cartoons. <laughs> yeah. See, the only good example for me, which I do, is, okay, I'm subscribed to Geek and Sundry, and they have this content. And then eventually they made their own thing because their partners are, like, legendary, and they have another site called Alpha. And there were some things at first at Alpha were, like, certain things you couldn't see on Twitch, which annoyed people. And then they started doing their own content, which is fine. I'm paying 10 bucks for one channel. But when you're separating stuff, like Netflix lost all their Marvel stuff, essentially. All they have left is Punisher, and then that's going to be gone. Oh, yeah. They get a season two of Punisher, which is good. I'm glad they're finishing that, because I've heard people say good things, and then, well, first season was okay, but... But Daredevil, I don't... I don't want to talk about it. Right. I don't understand any of the superhero shows. I don't watch them, but I heard always like people. Some people say were we're upset really about good. Daredevil. Yeah. Yep. All those shows. Oh, well, oh. Disney. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know, man. Yeah. That's, Disney that's eventually all... gonna leak into anime, and then we're screwed. Right. That, that's pretty much all I got mm-hmm. for uh, the Sao censorship thingy. But yeah, I mean, it is getting more and more out of hand, and I don't know. It's it's only gonna like probably go. And on the note of censorship, we can segue into Sunrun Kagra. Oh yeah, that's why I don't care about <laughs> well, that. Well, guess what? I can't wait to buy that Steam version because it'll be uncensored. Yep, that's the way it should be. Because yeah, <laughs> you don't even show anything bad in Sunrun Kagra. This was a uh, remember. Shown... This is a DS, a 3DS game. Mm-hmm. And then when they boarded the other version over from PS4 to PC and people unmodded the shine, there was no body parts because they thought of that already. Mm-hmm. Mm. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> I I like Sun and Kagura, the later ones. I'm probably not going to play this one because if it goes backwards on combat, I don't like that with my cell games. It, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, but it's coming to the US can... and it's not on a 3DS. Yeah. We can watch him play it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You actually will be able to watch me play it. <laughs> and not care about the story for the 400th time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Strictly for the gameplay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gameplay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You can hear me and Hawk doing air quotations through the internet as we hear the word gameplay. There is gameplay, though. Yeah, it's a Musou. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're going to talk about... You want to talk with me and Musou's in gameplay where you hit the same button 90% of the time, but 90% of Musou games that draw me in is having a giant cast or interesting cast. Yeah. Because I haven't played a Dynasty Warriors in forever. Interesting movesets. Pretty much, honestly. All I need. Like Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem had its thing, which was Fire Emblem. Mm-hmm. Just bad camera. Which is probably going to be in that Sunrun and Kagura and trigger me. And partially, that's also a problem in uh, Warriors of Ruchi. But, oh. you know, whatever. And they're targeting still mostly main character. Yeah. I don't know. Also, I hate to do this to you guys, but we got probably about eight minutes. Right. Then it's my bedtime. Yeah. Well, there ain't much else to talk about Sunrun. Yeah. Like, yeah. The game it's coming out. Coming. I'll get it on coming. PC. Jan- it's January gonna look much better than 3DS. January 18. <laughs> January 18. But uh, what we won't see next year, unfortunately, is Super Best Friends. Oh, yeah, 
So we'll go over this shortly because this seems Not much notes. Uh, a little personal, but uh, they were very open when they uploaded the video. Basically, right. Pat, Matt, and all your friends. Uh, so, you know, if you're not getting along with a business person, chances are when you're working like this, like if me and Hawk hated each other, it'd be really weird to do this podcast. Right. Do uh, <laughs> Let's Plays. Yeah. Uh, and that's over the Internet. Imagine being in the same room. So it's right. Yeah. So it's like it's understandable, unfortunately, because it's also the Internet and people uh, paint their uh, their feelings too hard mm-hmm. a lot of people seem to uh feel very personal about what's going on but other than that there is a lot of respect see a lot of a lot of nice respectful people right yeah and at least with uh the three guys they're very they're pretty transparent for the most part they're honest they're very direct yep we and- don't have that john chan game grumps what happened? What happened? Like, yeah. Issue. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, my my uh, girlfriend's brother was telling me uh, apparently there's this thing in Critical Role that was like that too, where just somebody like for an uh, episode just poof vanished. Mm-hmm. Apparently he was on drugs or some shit. Do you know anything about that, Mitchie? Okay, I'm gonna be right. Do we want to say the name? Because I know the actor. No, don't, you, you, you don't need entire... names. I because I, I have no idea. But apparently, like out of nowhere like, there it, it, might have, he might have had problems with many things and he got let go of the show yeah but basically uh, we don't have that but the internet blew it up like mm-hmm. oh they didn't like him it was a it was yeah part of it was business because they're streaming this on the internet and you have someone who might be a drug addict. in that case it was more business and yeah and not having but, uh, the best time mm-hmm. luckily there, there's no there's no uh well, there still are people trying to fucking cause drama, figure, paint their own narratives, which yeah, is stupid. Put, but put, try to make their own headcanon, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, but for the mo- <laughs> headcanon, yeah, <laughs> for the most part, it seems that uh, I don't know. It, it seems pretty good, I would say. Yeah, but say on my note, all those people, most of those. Some of those people are still friends. And critical. They're very transparent. Yeah, it, it's yeah. mostly uh, Matt, Pat. Yeah. Don't get along. Yeah. The original two. You know, you work together for nine years. Chances are you'll get on each other's nerves. And, you know, you grow older. You might yeah. have different viewpoints on things. Right. Especially as, uh, well, what's the word? Explosive? I, I could say Pat is, his personality is. Yeah. It's kind of like, kind of like Simmons. Uh, in a way, very Pat. opinionated, very right. vocal about his opinions, right. whether or not you agree with them or not. But uh, so I can see where that that's an issue. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I don't know. Uh, I, I it's gonna be fine because Wooly is still friends with Matt, Matt yeah. and Liam, mm-hmm. and Wooly is still friends with Pat. I feel sorry for him the most because he's kind of in the middle of in it the all. middle of the yeah. Uh... But you know, sometimes friends just don't get along with each other. Yeah, People yeah. don't mix. Yeah, and but I think they're adults and they can understand that. It's more of people need to understand that because there are still the people like, well, maybe they'll get back together. So yeah, no, it's not usually how it works this. in the adult world, right? So, well, now uh, them have already started their own projects, as we've been seeing. Matt's been yes. doing Flop House. Wooly just recently, honestly, I'm Wooly less surprised versus... when I saw Wooly do his own like podcast thing. I'm like, oh, yeah. huh, Wooly that's figure not it out. even the. That's not even the the Wooly will figure it out is more his personal thing, but the right. actual if you go uh, back to the old Twitch side, it's been renamed uh, Castle Super Beast because mm-hmm. they're gonna basically have the uh, Super Super Beast cast, which is gonna be replacing the uh, Super Best Friends cast. Mm-hmm. So, and that it'll probably be Pat Wooly and a respective guest mm-hmm. uh, continually. Yeah. So. I'll have to see where that goes. Yeah. Matt will just be doing his stuff, which plus at least there are a lot of like thanks people. So that we I saw a lot of thanks to them. A lot of people I've follow on Twitter, which is always good. Yeah. Cranky. Volta Base, who I never knew about, didn't Matt? Oh my god, that guy's a wizard. Hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of thanks, even from developers like Yacht Club and Yacht Club, Swery. Yeah. All uh 
I mean, not in them. I always play the weirdest games uh, and appreciate those indie. Right. And uh, they kind of introduced me to Yakuza, and if it wasn't for them, I, I, I would have missed out on it, honestly. And it's like <laughs> one of my favorite video game series of all time. Like, hands down. I owe a lot of my likes to it as well. Like, Persona, Danganronpa. Mm -hmm. uh, I bought a Vita because Liam kept talking about it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know he, he wasn't part of the best friends at the time, but he was definitely a part of it when I was uh, listening to it. Oh, yeah, Even, yeah. Uh, everything I know about Nier is definitely through... Uh, oh, yeah, because of Liam. Best friends, yeah. class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Liam. Liam, and, essentially. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, it's, it's more thing. of a, it's just a new arc. Yeah, it, it happens with a lot of you know bands and groups and stuff. It, and yeah, that is the perfect analogy. Like it's your your favorite band breaking up. Yeah, and uh, a lot like a lot of um, bands or band breakups, those members have their own projects, and some of them are <laughs> so more successful time. than others. Yeah, like Guns N' Roses, for example. Uh, in sync, you know, <laughs> but the Beatles, the Beatles, of course. Um, Blink one eighty two. <laughs> they didn't break up yet. <laughs> they did break up. Angels and Airwaves became its own thing, and then there was Box Forty Eight or some shit. Dude, they broke up. <laughs> they oh, totally they? broke up. Jesus. Wait, when did they break up? I was in high school, <laughs> so you were probably in college. I didn't they might that. have gotten back together again, but dude, they broke the fuck up. Uh huh. <laughs> they were there was some bad blood. Maybe like, maybe where's this? Whereas Super Best Friends breaking up peacefully. Yeah. Apparently, Blink One Eighty Two is not that peaceful. <laughs> right. I just know that they're an independent <laughs> band. But anyway, um. Yeah. More 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 on Best Friends. They helped me get through college. You know, in between breaks and stuff, I watched hours and hours of their content. You know, and. uh they will be definitely be missed, but you know it's understandable that these things happen and people over time get different viewpoints and it can just conflict with others and to the point where they just want to do their own thing then. So you just gotta respect it. It's understandable, you know the creative differences and and stuff like that. And uh, it's gotta it's gotta just let it roll. Don't fight it. <laughs> just. <laughs> I mean, I I could say I know that situation as I miss two people from my Discord a lot, and certain other people get to see him for podcasts. <laughs> uh, that that's not that's not the same. That's that's I, them seeking no, personal, personal personal things. Oh, I know. Which, I meant so. when Hawks like saying letting things roll, just letting them roll as they do their own. Mm -hmm. It's understandable. Anyways, guys, it's getting it's it's my bedtime. So yeah, I know. Should probably wrap up. Yep. Uh, yep. Poor man has to work. Yeah. Uh, the best friends gotta gotta go work, do their own thing, make projects, fulfill their creative uh their creative uh desires and juices and stuff, and they'll have some stuff for us to see. So it's you know it's like, it's like what Pat said. Yep. You'll 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 see uh three separate Christ Christmases. In a way, so. Well, it's funny. Each one of them will probably have their own views of what they're gonna show. Like one's probably Wooly's pretty much the fighting. Yeah. Game person. Wooly, uh, I think he's still gonna do like what his things. He likes talking about like the creative things. Pat just likes playing games, and Matt seems to be going down the more highly produced content, like not regular oh, uploads, like but another like, person right now. like very lots of work put into his things, like what happened and stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah. If anything, it's going to be easier to consume a lot more content. It sucks that the last video they uploaded is just them dying to Ursula in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. it is what it is. So, thank you, uh, best friends. You provided a lot of laughs. And I uh, hope uh, all of your individual projects go well and stuff. So, uh, But yeah, anyways, we got to sign off. Uh, thank you, Mitchie, for being on to fill thank in. Thank you, Mitchie. This is the one time I can be on. Feels yeah. bad, man. Yeah. But yeah, you know, it was, it was great having you. So, uh, and maybe the next time you come back on, you can you can you can maybe push uh fix that push to talk uh button or something. I don't know. <laughs> My <laughs> issue <Yes>. of how. <laughs> no, it's just the old habits die hard. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, uh, thank you all for. Hey, uh, hey wait. Oh, what, what, what? Wait. Oh, do your sign off. Oh yeah. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, it's always been a pleasure. We'll be back for like I think before New Year's. Uh, right, like right before New Year's Eve. Uh, we'll take a week off for Christmas because you know Christmas is that time of the year. We gotta you know see our families. Blah blah blah. And uh, check out our sponsorship, Loot Crate and Into the AM. All that is in the description uh, box. Please, please check it out. It helps out the channel, and we, we uh, really appreciate it. And, of course, we also appreciate feedback, as always, in the comments or anything related to the topics we talked about. So, uh, Also. Yes. Mayor Gigante. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh. Right, Fuck go. y'all. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck He's us. been Fuck you for a week. <laughs> I've had a week standing to the mirror. <laughs> Nergy Gante. Nergy Gante. Nergy Gante. You can say it. Okay, as long as you don't fuck up saying Gerald's name when he fucking comes to that game. Geraldo. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna stop you. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Fuck you, Josh. You're in on it too. <laughs>